Okay, I'm gonna try and do this in one take. We'll see. I have three rods here, two are McMasters, and one is a Geisley Surefire. This is a 212, 218, 217. Here's the tag on this one. And we'll verify. And verify the end. Just a little bit. Your size on the end. Which is actually fine. This one here, see this is the cut end that they did. And I deburred it a little bit. This one, uh, also, they, they cut the end here, and I ground it down to make it smoother. Otherwise, it's kind of jagged. And we're at 219. Try to get my calipers more square. And about just over 218 here. And the end, 218. This one I've already measured as 217. I'll do that again though. Okay. All right. So. Doing this one handed is an easiest thing. Okay, first, Surefire. It's a pretty tight fit. Here we go. Really tight fit. Um, this is an Oveski barrel. This is a, uh, I think a stag. And this is a Daniel Defense with a cherry bomb. Okay. This is a bit cleaner than these two. These two, I could clean them better, but I didn't. So, all right. Obviously this one, is 5,000 smaller, and this is not gonna have a problem going in. I'll use the other end because I ground that down. All right. Here we go, and we got a good amount of wiggle, which the Surefire Rod at 217 does not have. I'm not gonna try this in the other two. There's no point to doing it. Here's my 218 rod. This is the end I didn't work on. This is the end that I did. All right. Yeah, it does not want to go in. It does not want to go in. All right. If it would go into any of them, it would be this one, and it's not. And for further clarification, and here is a silencer code. So it's not the muzzle devices that's limiting it. This 218 rod does not want to go into the bore. So it doesn't want to go past the crown. So that's why I did not use the 218 rod in my videos. Uh, and the 217 is definitely a better gauge to use than the 212. So again, I recommend that you use the uh, Surefire Geisley rod instead of a McMaster. Thanks.